get the scores for movies and that. That's what I reckon. You know what I mean? Everyone's doing their little parties, but you can't tap into a market more than the movies. I'm telling you. Getting them on trailers and whatnot. Because that's hitting worldwide, isn't it? When you think about it. You know? Everybody wants to strive and make a good beat, but everyone wants to eat as well, so. You know what I mean? Can't knock a man for trying to eat. But you know, just keep it real, man. You got a broader people are gagging for it, innit? We don't get it as much, even though the internet's accessible, man. But they don't get it as much as what they do in London, so. When you go out of London and go out like, different countries, you realise how much they appreciate you and how much they they know a lot about you. Best place abroad. Well, it varies different clubs. Well, Toronto government, Jose, he's got that locked down. But before, it used to be warehouse parties, like 15,000 and whatnot. But like the government shut that down via the kids, like underage kids partying. You know what I mean? I have to call the ambulances for them. So that got pushed back into the club. So. Always, always got a good crowd out there. Uh, what else can I say? You have your old things like in certain clubs in Germany, Mannheim, that like people appreciate music. You know what I mean? There's a lot of places, other, other artists and DJs will tell you other places where they're feeling. You know what I mean? Like when I go liquid rooms in Tokyo, Japan, that's me, Frost, Ed Rush sometimes. You know what I mean? Doc Scott. We go over there, feel them places over there. When it comes to London, England, can't beat a bit of Bournemouth for Opera House, you've got a shout Matt. You know what I mean? Then you got like you got your Birmingham, the sanctuary when Dillinger does his nights up there for broken minds. That's off the hook as well. You know? You've got your um, Phil Desire with his little old school flavours and he still comes up with his upfront. You know what I mean? Just certain places have got certain grads. You know you've got your end club, they've got their little thing going on. Everybody's doing their little thing, you know, trying to represent. See, some of these shoes are getting revamped. Trust me, certain shoes like this. See, certain vocal things that like just remind me of back in the day. They have to get touched. Have to get touched again to educate the kids that weren't around these times. When you ask them about certain shoes, they ain't got a clue. Because no, it's not that. It's just that they weren't about. They went, allowed, they went out on road or in club to listen to that. If you weren't that, they left to listen to pirate radio stations or buy the mixtape. But not all tunes were played back then. They got onto mixtape. So some tunes were just out there that never even got heard of. I mean, you know what I mean? So I used to work over there when I was a commodity broker. Not commodity, but I used to be a messenger. But that's what I was heading for, but you know, music took over. Oh, well, you name it, man. Cash Money, Jazzy Jeff, you know what I mean? Africa Bambara, all them type of cats, Soul Sonic Force, all the hip hop genre, you know what I mean? I wasn't that much of a good break dancer, but I loved the music so much, and my brother used to have music and that, he used to fight all the time, and he used to always move with like Mad Hatters and like some of the guys that he used to hang around with. His brother used to do World Party, like um, Ray Spence, he used to do Rain Dance. His sister lived next door to my sister, and I didn't even know that until the party's finished. <laughs> Could have been playing. You never know, innit? Could have never known, but that's when I was just coming into it when rain dance was blowing up. You know what I mean? But before that, that's what it was. It was just hip hop, like all obscure tunes, like Prince Sign of the Times, you know? Loads of stuff. Reggae tunes, Green Sleeve from Bob Marley. My sisters always used to clash. One side of my sister was Bob Marley. The other side was Gregory Isaacs. Who was better than who? Or well, Dennis Brown, that's it. Nah, Dennis Brown's better than Bob Marley. Bob Marley's commercial, Dennis Brown kept it real. I used to get the debate all day long in my hand. And I was just on the Sugar Hill gag. <laughs> you know what I mean? The rapper's delight. I think I've got two of those. I know you can sell it, I'll get it for a lot on eBay. You know what I mean, I've got a shout Busy B for letting me in on that one. Busy Busy, you know that one, like. You know what I mean, Busy B, man. All these cats from back in the day, you know what I mean? When we used to do love parties or little parties, and it wasn't even about the money then. It was just all about just the fact that we could play our music to a crowd of people that was on the same level as us. But you know, like I say, you have to pick and choose now. Before there used to be loads of artists that were just making all these tunes that you could play in one club called AWOL, which everyone knows about. It's like a testing ground, you know? I used to call that place the Mature Adolescence. 
you know what I mean? You can play anything in there. But there ain't really any places anywhere where you can play a vast range of music that they used to do back then. But there you go, they had a lot of different DJs playing. From Mickey, Darren, Gash, Kenny, me. Then you'd have your guests, Doc Scott, Ryder, Frost. So you'd have Pike, you know what I mean? You'd have so many DJs passing through, doing their little sets. Now everyone's on a two hour set. Nowadays, it's just like an hour to four or 45 minutes. What can you do in that? As a me as a DJ, I'm so used to playing radio station back in the day, three hours on the radio, and then hour and a half, and then A will come along, two hours, just right for me. Nowadays, it's just like hours. Now just about getting an hour and a half. Unless you're doing your own night and you can do two hours. You know what I mean? Unless we go abroad. And abroad, I, I, I play two and a half, three hour sets. You know what I mean? Try and do a Carl Cox and do three hours and all that. But I enjoy that, man. That means you can open your set up. You, can, you, can, you don't have to think about as much as hard or you've only got an hour to play so much. You know what I mean? But when you've got two hours or three hours, you know, you can take them people on a journey. You know what I mean? You don't have to keep them going, peeking up. You don't have them going up and down, you know what I mean? That's the way I see it. You know it's West Ham, man. <laughs> I know I get stick for it because all my sisters live in Liverpool. My brother-in-law's in Tottenham. So I get stick all day long. But I don't care. I keep it real. I keep it real, man.